What's going on guys? Today we are installing and reviewing this Kemimoto <coughs> cup holder sent to me by them for review. Today I'm going to be mounting this on the handlebars of my 2004 Polaris Sportsman 400, but anything that has any type of a pole, a rail, or handlebars you can mount it to. As you see, pretty wide application range and you know multiple uses. You can put a Bluetooth speaker in here, you could put a cup in here, you could put a bottle in here, tumblers, you name it, pretty much anything you can fit in there, it'll hold. The clamp for the cup holder is made out of aluminum and has, as they call it, crocodile teeth. The clamp will accommodate any type of a handlebar or pole, anywhere from 0.6 inches up to 1.75 inches. The height on this is just under six and a half inches and the maximum depth is just over 4.3 inches. It can also hold round Bluetooth speakers in the diameter of 2.8 to 3.5 inches. And it will also hold any type of tumbler or bottle up to the same dimensions, 2.8 to 3.5 inches, up to 30 ounce in size. Now included with the cup holder, you should also get a screw, a rubber strip, and an Allen wrench. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out where roughly you're gonna to wanna to mount this. Now with the four wheeler, all the controls are on the back side of the handlebars here. Uh, I got my winch control there. So I'm actually gonna mount mine on the front side of the handlebars so that it's not in my way and I don't have to worry about um, this hitting the fuel tank or anything. So I'm gonna mount mine here and the clamp is going to mount right here with that screw. So you can kind of judge how the clamp's gonna have to go. Mine's gonna have to be at a little bit of an angle. But what you're gonna wanna do is find a place, uh, put this on there and hold the cup holder up next to it. Just get an idea of how you're gonna want it. And then you'll put this rubber strip inside the clamp here. It'll keep things uh, in place easier and it won't scratch up your handlebars and then you can install this screw through the cup holder to secure it to this. So again right here is where the screw is going to pass through and I'm just going to kind of line that up. I got my clamp roughly where I think I'm going to need it and I'm going to line up the hole in the cup holder here with this mounting point and then just kind of play with it a little here something like that. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that screw in and start it by finger into the hole here and just get everything kind of assembled, but loosely so I can still adjust everything. You also notice that the mounting point on the clamp here is like a plus shape. And there's actually a second mounting point right here that will accommodate that. Uh, and if you can mount this at a perfect up and down angle or perfect side to side angle, then that'll be beneficial to you because it'll lock in place a little bit better and keep it a little bit more solid. But as you see, that won't work in my application. So I need to use the other mounting hole so I can angle this up a little bit. Now, if you don't want to take the cup holder apart, you can come in like this and use the Allen wrench like this to tighten the screw. I went ahead and unthreaded this bottom screw here. Just separate it into two pieces to make it easier for install. And there you go, you can see I have it in the lower hole like I was mentioning earlier. Just gonna get it pretty close to how I'm gonna want it. Not gonna tighten everything yet though. Now I'm going to loosen and remove the clamp and install that rubber piece, then reinstall the clamp. Just kind of get it lined up straight as you can and as evenly as you can between the two jaws and then click it back into place and we can tighten it down a little bit then. There we go, got the clamp started. And if you want, you can kind of set this into position to see how everything's gonna rest. Make sure everything clears. I could get it a little closer to this, but that's okay. Plenty of room up in this area. So finish snugging this down. Get it nice and tight by hand. 
get this part in an upright position and then we can cinch that down a little more there we go doesn't have to be anything ridiculously tight it's not a huge screw you don't want to strip it out just a little bit there check it periodically but that's a pretty snug uh, mount Obviously, you know, with a machine like this, with the engine running, the handlebars usually have a little bit of a shaker vibration to them, so you're probably not going to want to use an open uh, soda can or anything like that, but it looks like it's going to work pretty good. And of course, after you get this all set to how you're typically going to use it, you can simply just unscrew the clamp and remove it as one assembly. If you're going to go bashing through the trails or something and you don't want to damage it on tree branches or anything like that, uh, and then you can just clamp it right back on in a matter of seconds. You don't have to monkey with the adjustment every time. So that is going to wrap it up for the Kemi Moto cup holder. I will put the product link down in the video description where you can get it if you'd like to purchase one. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, comment down below with any questions, check me out on all my socials, and as always, thanks for watching guys, have a great day.